Scientists estimate that four out of every 10 species of insects are beetles, including click beetles, dung beetles, rhinoceros beetles, ladybugs, boll weevils, and my favorite, lightning bugs, or as some people call them, fireflies. Those little guys have built-in bioluminescent flashlights. How cool is that? In one sense, beetles are a common bug. That is, they're commonly seen creatures. But don't think of them as unremarkable animals. Beetles do some exceptional things that testify to a grand designer. Consider the bombardier beetle, which has a kind of bomb in its belly. The bombardier beetle doesn't have explosives tied to its back. It doesn't carry around a miniature stick of dynamite. Its insides are not full of nitroglycerin. No, this little bug has tiny glands inside its body that produce two harmless chemicals, known as hydroquinones and the more familiar hydrogen peroxide. The bombardier beetle secretes these chemicals into a kind of holding area or storage tank. Then, if the beetle senses danger and is agitated by an attacker, it quickly moves the chemicals from its storage tank into yet another chamber which could be called the explosion chamber. The beetle secretes special catalyst enzymes into the once harmless chemical mixture, making a toxic spray that reaches 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. That's right, the temperature at which water boils. So amazing and effective is this bomb-making abilities of the bombardier beetle that scientists have sought for several years to learn all they can from its intricate design features. In fact, researchers admit that understanding this beetle better could lead to significant advances in combustion research. Amazingly, when the bombardier beetle bombs away, it doesn't blow up. It doesn't develop a high fever and die. The noxious spray doesn't eat through the chamber walls and kill the beetle. No, the beetle sizes up its attacker and quickly rotates two rear nozzles at the end of the explosion chamber so that they point in the precise direction of the attacker. The bombardier beetle then fires the boiling hot mixture toward the enemy with pinpoint accuracy in a high-speed, rapid-fire, machine-gun-like fashion at about 500 rounds or pulses of toxic spray per second. Years ago, Time Magazine described the defense system of the bombardier beetle as extraordinarily intricate, a cross between tear gas and a Tommy gun. They noted how the special fluid of the beetle is pumped through twin rear nozzles, which can be rotated like a B-17's gun turret to hit a hungry ant or frog with bullseye accuracy. A few years later, Science Magazine published an article by Jeffrey Dean and his colleagues who highlighted the fact that the ejection system of the Beetle shows basic similarity to the pulse jet propulsion mechanism of the German V-1 buzz bomb of World War II. Evolutionists allege that this amazing insect is the product of millions of years of evolution. Can you imagine the evolution, really, of the bombardier beetle? If this theory were true, then there had to have been a time when the bombardier beetle did not produce a toxic spray. There had to have been a time when it did not store a 212 degree mixture. There had to have been a time when it had never shot anything out of its back end as hot as boiling water. If so, what would have happened the first time the beetle somehow mixed a boiling hot solution without already having a storage tank in place that could withstand such temperatures? What would have happened the first time this beetle ever blew a bomb out of its back end? Why did the beetle not blow up the first time it ever created a bomb? Do you really think that the bombardier beetle just evolved by chance over millions of years? Or does common sense not call for a creator who made this incredible insect with all of its necessary parts in place at the same time at creation?